So you're telling me you named your dog after Bob Melvin? Yeah, Bob loves it. Bob asks about it all the time. That's creepy. That's a little creepy. <laughs> hey, would you guys get serious? Please all right, get serious. All right, all right here Please. we go. Here we go, Ray. I'll, I'll get it that to you. That is creepy. <laughs> George Allen. Go Pack. I just want to say, guys, I'm the only one on this show tonight who can say I took Melvin for a walk and I fed Melvin. Oh, come on, man. The why, dog. Why don't you talk baseball? <laughs> just, you got some We're baseball people We're on a whole hour here. There. We got to, we got to, we got to diversify a little bit. Hey, Boys, Brody, have, I think, Brody, yeah. I think you should get a cat and name it Fossey. I was thinking oh about God. that. That's exactly what I was thinking about. <laughs> would, would you guys finish your show? Here, we Fosse, have things Fosse, to do Fosse, to get Fosse, ready for here, a game. Fosse. All right. Oh, uh, we'll see you guys <laughs> for the ridiculous. broadcast in about a half hour from now. Yeah. So Ray was not happy there, and in our first pitch, we're going to poke the bear here just a little bit more. I ran a Twitter poll that said, who would you name your next family pet after? And let's be honest, I put out some very likable names. Steven Vogt, he's a fan favorite. He only got 14% of the vote. Sonny Gray, only 27% of the vote. Can you believe Chris Davis only got 14%? Wow. But 45% of respondents, more than 300 and 50 people voted. They said they would name their next family pet after Ray Fossey. And what a coincidence here on Pregame Live. We bring in Glenn Kuyper and Ray Fossey. We came on already for this? Is this why we, thank you, partner. I thought you, I, they're, they're poking the bear. You must be honored, Ray, right? You gotta be. I guess be. that's why I'm not on Twitter. Well, I tell you what though, if, if, you know, a poll like that, I think is fairly legitimate. And I think there's a lot to be said yeah. about naming your next animal Fosse. Brody, I like it. It was a good effort, and uh, it's easy to poke the bear from the studio. Would you guys be poking the bear if you were sitting right here? Absolutely not, Glenn, and I feel I'm, sorry for you about that. I am shocked. I am shocked that after a great win last night, you have us come on early for that. <laughs> okay. But, but, I mean, that was probably the most exciting game of the season, and you start the program with this? Well, on, on, that baseball. Note, on that note, I'm glad you mentioned it because what I really wanted to get to you guys about was just the way that game ended last night. Right. Do you think the carryover is tangible? All right, we will see. And guys, uh, hey, hey, I'm not. It's baseball. You're right. <laughs> hey, Fossey, 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 Fossey. Hey, Fossey, Fossey. Meow. Meow. <laughs> We've got to Talk move on baseball. right meow. We've got to go on yeah, right bro. meow. Uh, <laughs> all right, boys, you have a great broadcast, and hopefully, see it, turn <laughs> hopefully it turns out to be an A's win.